Mr. Speaker, let me align myself to the submission of my colleague, Honorable Luke, to the effect that at this time in our nation, what is important is the provision of security to our people, provision of the dividend of democracy to our people. Our people are desirous of being well taken care of. Outside here, our Nigerians are being butchered. They are being killed. People can't even live. People can't even feed themselves. Things are very difficult. Just yesterday, in one of my communities that make up my federal constituency, Israel is about to be precise. People were slaughtered. People were killed. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, when we are coming up with a bill for other constitutional amendment as it relates to the issue of immunity, when some of us are even saying no, that people should be held accountable for whatever you do, I think this amendment bill, constitutional amendment bill, is coming at the wrong time. Just like you have said, that you will not want to be seen to be associating yourself or to want to benefit from this, the outcome of this exercise. Then the question is, what does it leave us with? Is it right? What is that that we cannot do on this floor and be held accountable or by the presiding officers that should be so desirous of us passing an amendment to include a clause that says there should be immunity for presiding officers. Mr. Speaker, I think it's wrong and it should not be allowed. I know you very well. You care less whether you are probed or you are investigated because you carry integrity along with you. And I think that should go for even the Deputy Speaker, who is also a member of the presiding officers uh, group. And I don't think too that should be said about the senior president or the deputy senior president. So I think we should jettison it and withdraw it completely because it will be sending a wrong signal. While some people are breaking issues about how Boko Haram is ravaging this, our communities, they were here talking about somebody being given immunity by President Osa. I want to, again, people will say, oh, I keep thanking you. I'm not thanking you, but I'm thanking you for being upright in rejecting any form of trying to give you immunity at this point that you are sitting. There is nothing that you are doing that you cannot be held accountable for. So I think that this is wrong. It should not be allowed. And I totally go against this provision. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Minority Leader. Yes, I am rejecting it for myself. So, and in so doing, that is the reason why he is supporting this amendment. Please, Please, I would like him to readdress that issue, that this concern amendment is not because that any member, including me, is being accused of being a thief, because I am not a thief. And I have never had anybody call me a thief. So I would, I would like him to address that particular one, because that is not the reason why the mover or the sponsor of this bill brought it up. He brought it up on its merits. I have argued that it, it is not necessary. If he's going to support it, he should not bring an issue about an impression that is being paraded against members of National Assembly. That is my privilege. Okay.